Hello and welcome to Dr. Logic Awkwardly Does Logic with the Sparkly Kitty Cat. We have a couple of Halloween specific tips for you today. The importance of logic to seasonal holidays should not be underestimated. In particular, given what we've been discussing recently about disjunction, if somebody comes to your door and says, trick or treat, do you know how to respond? The appropriate question to ask is, are you a stoic? Because then you can tell, are they using the exclusive or or the inclusive or? Remember, if they are not stoics, your trick-or-treaters may still play a trick on you even after you've given them a treat. In fact, and I would like to say thanks to Twitter user 38MO1 for this handy diagram, there are many different things that we can... Uh, uh, many different relationships about trick-or-treating that we can talk about. So long as our board doesn't. <laughs> there we go. Helpful assistant cat, can you please hold the board up so that it doesn't fall backwards? So, we have the standard trick or treat. If you have... Can you actually read this? Yeah, you can read it. Trick or treat. This is the ordinary propositional logic or which is inclusive. You don't want trick or treaters like this because they are the ones who might give you a trick even after they've uh, even after you've given them a treat. What you are hoping for is that you have trick X or treat. The lovely stoic disjunction that says that if you've given them a treat, then they aren't allowed to trick you anymore. Other options could be trick and treat. Again, this is consistent with the inclusive or. Down at the bottom, we have slightly more difficult to read and slightly more exotic types of tricking, uh, uh, tricky, trick treating, let's call it that. There is trick nor treat, where you neither get a treat nor a trick. Unfortunately, due to COVID, that's probably what most of us are going to get this year. Trick and treat is where you get anything but the two of them at once. So this is actually not too bad of a situation. And finally, we have trick X nor treat. And you might think, X nor, what even is this? I don't understand what kind of connective that is. Don't worry, it's one that we'll be talking about in a couple of week, a couple of videos time, probably later this week. So thank you very much for joining me on this special Halloween episode of Dr. Logic Awkwardly Does Logic. Thank you to my lovely sparkly cat assistant. Meow. Take care and see you another time.